it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just adjusted this camera about six times so that I could actually be in frame. I tried to get the box in here too. The box is huge. It's a Trunk Club unboxing and try on haul. Um, Trunk Club just keeps sending these boxes that are bigger and bigger and I'm here for it. Like I just love getting them in the mail. Well, they put them on my porch. Clearly they don't fit in the mailbox, but okay. So this is another big box um, and a lot of hits. For this month so I've already tried everything on I know what I love I know what I want to keep so now I'm going to show you what's in the box show you how it fits and then you can decide in the comment section down below what you like what you don't like obviously let me know because I like to hear your opinions <laughs> and in true trunk club fashion this one is pretty pricey too last month's box I want to say was like everything totaled to like $1,400 so this month I sent a note to my stylist I have a new stylist by the way um, I sent a note saying hey can we get things that are just a little bit more affordable and I did get a couple things um, some things are still really pricey but as I've said before and I've always said with trunk club the quality is there so it's almost like you spend the money on the nicer pieces. So I'm getting my little price sheet ready. I have 12 items in this box. If you're not familiar, it's the same with like other subscription boxes. A $25 a month styling fee. Whatever you keep is credited towards that purchase. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let me see if I can open this box. You can't even see it in the viewfinder. It is huge down here. First thing let's pull out is this sweater. This is the brand BP. I believe it's in a size, standby, it's in a 2X, and it's just this gray v-neck oversized sweater. It's adorable. It is so soft. Um, it definitely is oversized, but it's meant to be oversized. This would be so cute with a pair of leggings and like some little white kids or something for fall. It's, like I said, so soft, so comfy. I like the oversized look. I think it's the perfect fit. So let's see, this is the cozy v-neck sweater size 2X and it's $39. So that's, that's a more affordable piece that Carson, my stylist, picked for me. So I like it. Next thing is this plaid top, y'all know. Plaid is my thing. This is also the brand BP, it's in a size 2X. And it's black with a little bit of like light orange, maybe like a dark mustard color on it. Um, I don't like it long sleeves. Obviously, I would I would roll the sleeves to my liking. This one I really like. However, I think it pulls a little bit too much at the bust for my liking. That's just me. I love the pattern. I love the brand. It's like a soft brand. It's the same as this sweater, that BP brand. It's just a little bit too snug. So that's the only reason I wouldn't keep this one. This is the BP plaid shirt in black and it's $49. Continuing with tops, we have this like distressed green. This is from the brand, standby, seven in a size 2X. So I love this like sage green color and this like distressing, but these on the shoulders don't really do it for me for some reason. Um, the fit I really like. I know I said in the last video or one before that the like crisscross strappy detail on the neck I wasn't really into anymore, but this one I like for some reason. Isn't that weird that I like this, but I didn't like the other one? Um, I love the fit. I love the size. It's a perfect size. It is a 2X. However, these like make me feel some sort of way. I feel like it's, um, it kind of ages the shirt a little bit in my opinion makes me feel like I look a little bit older. All right, so this, let's see. So this top is $39. Next top we have is this halogen size 2X and it's this beautiful creamy like white color. It's got buttons all the way down the front on the left side. Well, you'll see it on the right side of me, I think, but it's on my actual left side. Long sleeve, it's got a little cuff like detail here. It's a little see-through, however, it's too small. Um, I think if it were a size bigger, size and a half bigger, it would be perfect. This is a great work top. It's very pretty. It's very expensive feeling. Um, it's just a little bit too snug for me. So this is the Halogen Button Placket Blouse in Ivory, and it is $69. Okay, next thing. How many have we done so far? I feel like my arms are getting tired. This is beautiful. This is a cardigan. The brand is Caslon, size 2X. Look how cozy. 
I feel like you can't really tell with me holding it, but you're going to be able to tell in the try-on portion. This is the perfect size. It's like the perfect amount of oversized. This could be a blanket. It is so soft. This one is in, if I didn't say, a size 2X. I love how long it is. I feel like you could dress this down and like I could wear it around the house when it's cold or you could dress it up and wear like a cream or a black top with some black jeans and black boots and just wear this. I'm obsessed with this. Absolutely obsessed. I already told my stylist too. I was like, girl, this Castlon Shaw Color Cardigan, $79. Yes. I just, I love it. So I do have three pair of pants and two pair of shoes, but before we get there, this is a hunter green colored Levi's like faux leather jacket. Like it reminds me of like a motorcycle jacket with all the like zipper details and stuff on it. It's hard for me to show you here, but you're looking at it or hopefully you're looking at me trying it on now. This is beautiful. It is in a size um, 2X fits absolutely perfect this is a little pricey but it's one of those staple pieces that I would wear all the time I just I love it so this is the as I said Levi's yeah Levi's lamb touch faux leather moto jacket size 2x it's $118 it's $118 okay just let that simmer think about it and we'll get back to it now let's move on to bottoms. I have a pair of jeans, a pair of like dress pants, and then a different kind of pair of pants. So the first G, the first pair of jeans, these are the Slink Jeans Ankle Jegging in a size 20. They're super dark wash and I love it. Um, the only thing with these, I know they're like ankle jeggings, but I feel like they're a little bit shorter on me. Are they supposed to be that short? Because I love the fit, I love the color, I love the size, like they're so comfortable. But like this isn't super tight on my calf. And is that because it's too high? I don't know. But these, I like these. I didn't think I would like them because I pulled them out and thought, man, those look really short. And then when I looked at the width of the bottom, I was like, no, I'm not going to like it. And then I put them on and I kind of liked them. So I've never owned a pair of this Slink Jeans brand, but I do get them quite often in boxes and they're really good. They're really nice quality. So these slink jeans will run you $78. Oh my gosh, y'all. I forgot there's a dress in there. <laughs> okay, we'll get to the dress too. All right, so these are Liverpool size 20W dress pants. These are definitely heavy duty, good quality dress pants. Um, they're a little bit short on me. Are they supposed to be that short? I'm trying to, sh I know I had issue like, showing the bottom and the top at the same time in the video, but let me know if they're meant to be that short. These are great quality, and I kind of like them. I didn't think I would like these either, and then put them on and thought, okay, I kind of like these too. It says they're knit trousers. Okay, so the girl in the picture, can you see? They're a little bit short on her. So let me know what you think about them. These are, stand by, Liverpool Black, Kelsey Point, Oh, Kelsey Pont Knit Trouser in Black. They're $98. All right, last pair of pants we have are these like houndstooth print. I think I only say that because I live in the South, like we're football, like Alabama football, houndstooth, you kind of associate it. Um, but these are the pants. They're like those paper bag pants. They're the brand Angie. They're in a size 2X. Um, I like the idea. I don't think I like them on me. When I tried these on, I liked them better on me than I thought I would, but I still didn't get like the full on like, yes, I need these in my wardrobe. Brian liked them. I don't know if I care for them. Let's see how much they are. These are $49. Paper bag waist Glenn plaid pants. The brand is Angie and they're $49. So that's not a bad price. Okay, now let's, let's talk about this dress. This dress came in and I thought... This is the perfect dress. Brian and I actually have plans for New Year's Eve this year. We're going to go stay somewhere. Fireworks. We do like a big moon pie drop in Mobile. We've never done that. And I want to get like a fun, sparkly, like sequins dress for the event. But then this one came in. It's the brand City Chic. And it's this black, like mesh sweetheart neckline. It's going to be hard for me to show you like this. So hopefully you're looking at it in the try on portion. 
it's a little bit snug, but I know that I could wear some Spanx or just drop a couple pounds and it would be fine. The perfect length. I feel like this is so flattering. So here's my dilemma. You're looking at the dress. Do I get this dress for New Year's Eve and like glitz it up with like some fancy earrings and stuff and like a nice clutch? Or do I nix this plain black dress and just go for like a full on sequence like mini dress? I really want a sequins mini dress. I found one that I like. It's ironically city chic brand as well it's just kind of expensive like this one I think this one's $89 and the one that I like is on sale I could get it for 70 bucks today they have a deal for Halloween or something so let me know what you think this one I think is a great fit and like I said it's very flattering but do I nix that idea and just stick with the sequins like sparkle idea let me know Okay, now to the shoes. I have two pairs of shoes. One pair didn't fit, so I can't try them on, but I will absolutely show you what they look like. This first pair is the Naturalizer brand. I love Naturalizer. I have a couple pair of like wedges that are Naturalizer and they're so comfy, but these are beautiful. They're like a suede material up here and like this leather look back here. These are in a size nine and a half. I feel like they kind of slip off my ankle or my, my heel just a little bit. And if I'm going to be walking in them, I'll get annoyed real fast. But they're really cute and I like them. They're just, I think I needed a nine. Like I said, these are a nine and a half. And I think if I had the nine, they would be perfect. So these shoes are $89.95. And the very last thing in my box are these boots. These are the brand Topshop. How funny is it? I've never tried Topshop before. And I wanted to like these so bad just because they're Topshop and I hear people talk about how great Topshop boots are. They were just too small. I Let me see. These are in a size 9.5. I would have needed a 10, maybe a 10.5. I think maybe because they're just so narrow. Like my foot fit in there and it zipped. It was just too tight. So yeah, maybe a 10 would work better. These are the Brooklyn style. How cute though. I wish they fit because... I had black boots like this in mind for almost everything I tried on in this box. I do own a pair of Ralph Lauren black boots that are similar, but you can never have too many black boots. So these are 60 bucks. That's not a bad deal. I may ask for these again next month in a bigger size. Also, Abby gave me the idea. Let me put this boot up. Stand by. Okay, Abby gave me the idea to ask for sequins things like a dress or a skirt or some kind of kimono in every single box that I get for all these like places like Trunk Club, Stitch Fix, D and Co, Fashion. I think those are the only ones I get to ask for something sequence until like December and see what I can get. So that's a good idea too. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap on this video. So what I'm keeping, I'm going to keep the cardigan. I'm going to keep the gray oversized sweater. I'm keeping the Levi's jacket. What else did I like? Oh, I really like that city chic black dress but I need your opinion on if I should keep it or if I should stick to sequins. And then the, the uh, slink jeans were really cute too. That's a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll leave a link to directly sign up for Trunk Club if you're interested in the comment or in the description box down below. Um, several people have used my link to sign up, so I appreciate it. It tells me like, um, it doesn't give me names, but it'll say you've got so many people that have signed up using your link, so thank you. Um, but it's always there under these types of videos. If you want to sign up or just check it out, then it's down below. They don't charge you the $25 until they ship your box. So you could actually sign up, get a stylus, look at your box, and if you don't like anything, you can decline it all. That's always an option too. Anyway, all right, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye.